All right, let's hit the button. Let's see what happens. All right, it's it's starting. Whoa, wow. Man, that's a lot of stuff that it's grabbing. Today we're going to be busting some directories with Bbot. Some people call it fuzzing. So, let's not joke around. Some of you are here just to jump straight in. Well, here's the bluff. Just pip install Bbot and then run Bbot with your targets and your modules. Done. There's a lot of documentation. It's really easy to follow. And also, what does bluff mean? You know what? Tell me your guesses in the comments below. But here's a hint. It's kind of the military form of TLDR. So put your comments down below and then let's go. If you like these topics, then check out my YouTube channel. I go over reverse engineering, virtualization, scripting, and a lot, a lot more. So directory buzzing, AKA web fuzzing, is when you fuzz the directory or the URL route that comes after the fully qualified domain name. In this case, if we're looking at it, it's blacklanersecurity.com with bbot after it. That is what we're going to be looking at. It can be blacklanersecurity.com forward slash jobs, careers. We don't know, so we're going to fuzz it and see what all different directories or routes that are out there. So, some targets only have a few directories to iterate through, but some have millions upon millions of directories and routes that we can play around with. So, we're going to be using Bbot, and that is Black Lantern Security Open Source Intel Tool. So, it is made by Black Lantern Security, and we'll be using the Fluff module. And once again, we'll be using that to fuzz those web directories. Now, use of Fluff by itself will work, and there's great documentation on it. You just need to search GitHub Fluff, and it'll go straight to the Fluff GitHub page. But since we're going to be using it inside of Bbot, Bbot architecture will allow us to use Fluff in a way that is very recursive. And then here's the disclaimer. If you look at the contributors of Bbot, you'll notice a familiar face. Yes, I am one of the developers of Bbot. But I can promise you that even though Bbot is the best tool out there, uh, my goal today isn't to sell you on Bbot. I'm just going to show you how I would do directory busting using Bbot. So I say we stop screwing around and we jump straight into it. Here we go. Today we're going to start our journey at blacklanternsecurity.com. So we're going to jump into blacklanternsecurity.com and we see we got the services, product, tools, research, advisories, about us, careers, contact. Just real quickly, if you click on advisories, you'll see the advisories that we've been putting out. Um, today we're going to be clicking on tools and here we have the Bbot, the big, huge BLS OSINT tool. Once we click into that, it will take us to GitHub. Inside of GitHub, we do have the information on how to install it using a pit package. Furthermore, if you go to the top and click on this link, there's going to be more information, more detailed information. This is where all the big juicy bits of information is to include the configurations on different ways that you can configure how to use Bbot. Um, so we are going to be looking at all these ones that are the fluff ones. All right, let's go ahead and get it installed. So here in the terminal, you can go ahead and do a pip install Bbot. I'm currently in a, a Python virtual environment. I like to have everything containerized. But if I were just to do Bbot, it's not there. But pip install bbot, and that'll get us on our way. And now that we got bbot installed, let's take a look, see what bbot has in store for us. So when you type in bbot, it's going to give you the, all the help commands that you can put in. And if we see down here, we have a list of modules, bbot tack l to see the list of modules. That's what I'm going to do. So let's go and do a bbot tack l. Let's see what we have. And then in here, Big list of modules. Really got to zoom out to get it just right. Here are all the modules that Bbot has. There is a ton of modules. And the big thing about Bbot is that it is recursive. As each of these modules go through, 
if they find something that might be interesting, it passes it back to the core of Bbot to regurgitate um, and give the rest of the information to the rest of the modules so they can continue on to find more things. It just splinters out and out and out. It's, it's amazing um, how far it can go. But we are going to be playing with Fuff today. Not Fluff, but Fuff. All right, so let's go ahead and make this bigger. And we will start running some scans. All right, but first off, let's go ahead and get somebody to target. And the best way that I know how to do that without making anyone uh, angry is to find targets that are already volunteering to be targeted. So I go to hackerone.com. So here at hackerone.com, I have gone into opportunities and I have found that N Drive currently has has a campaign going that you can jump in on. It ends in 13 days and the assets eligible is all scopes and assets uh, with an emphasis on this website. This is the one that we're going to be looking at. Um, so I suggest you go ahead and jump in here, you know, scroll, read through it, make sure that you, we're not going to do anything that can be of a violation, but I've already browsed through it and I think this is a great way to demonstrate what we're doing with Bbot here. So we are going to be using ndrive.com in which this is what their website looks like. It seems to be another ride sharing type app, but where you get to communicate with the driver and you get to determine a price. So let's go ahead and jump into it. I'm going to grab this and drive.com. I'm going to throw that into Bbot. All right. So the way that we're using Bbot is going to be Bbot tag T for targets. And then let's go ahead and do ndrive.com. And Bbot is smart enough where if you just put ndrive.com, it will try HTTP, HTTPS. Um, if you just write ndrive, it will try ndrive.com, .net. It's, it's smart like that. But if you want to make sure that you're getting just the target that you're looking for, go ahead and write in the, 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 the proper name for it. And then for modules, in this version of in this version of Vbot, we have to put in the HTTPX module. It's the one that really kicks everything off. Um, but once we do that, we can run it with Fuff. So we're going to go ahead and let that run. And then you'll notice that the first thing, and which is why we pick our targets smartly, is Fuff is going to make an active communication with that target. So we want to make sure that we're aware of it. So we're going to do a tac tac allow deadly. We're going to let it let it go. Okay, first thing that's going to happen when you install Bbot and you run a query, it is going to install all the packages that you need. It doesn't install everything as soon as you download it, it installs it as it needs it. So now it needs HTTPX, it needs Fuff. Scan ready to go, hit enter. Okay, we are starting our scan. All right, so Fuff does require a word list and while it's going through here let's go ahead and take a look at that word list when we go to blacklantern.security.com forward slash bbot uh, then we click here configurations and we come down here to the fluff word list the word list that is currently using is this word list if we were to open this link we will see that it is a github user content github user content from this gentleman here. And it is a long, long list. So if you didn't want a long list or if you have an idea of you know, which directories you're aiming for, what you can do is throw this into the command line and I'll show you how to do it after our scan. But we can change the word list to the word list that we have on our local machine or a word list that is out there on the website, uh, on the uh, World Wide Web. But for now, this is what uh, Bbot is going to be using. So let's go ahead and check back in on it. And as we see, we got this one right here is a good example. Drive.com forward slash driver. We got PTBR. We've got newsroom. We have safety. So it's coming up with a lot of directory busting um, names. So uh, if you want to, anytime during Bbot, you can always hit your control C and go ahead and stop it and it will stop gracefully and it will give you a report of what it's found so far. All right, 
here is all the output information that it has and it has this CV, uh, CSV file, has the dot text and has the JSON file along with a wordless file. And it is telling us that HTTPX provide 34 URLs and even though fluff says zero, um, we can see that fluff was pulling down, um, pulling down the directory busting. So let's take a look to see how that is looking. So let's go ahead and click down on here. I'm going to go to LibreOffice because I'm, I'm going to open up the CSV. Okay. So here we are. I'm going to go ahead and filter these out so we can take a look at them properly. But so this is the entire scan of everything that Bbot has to include some of the excavate modules and things along those lines. So here we're going to go ahead and pick scan type and let's go ahead and get rid of all of them and then do just the URL. And then let's make some of these smaller as well. All right, we see our source modules here. And then we see the URLs. We can see that we get indrive.com and then we have some subdomains. We got money.indrive.com. And if we look over here at these modules, these are the ones that HTTPX found by itself. Then we have some that Fluff found. If we look, these are the ones that have the directory names of the directory bus and blog, en, and mobile. Let's go ahead and do sort a little bit more. And you can do this all with Python if you wanted to um, sort it out that way. I'm just using the CSV file to make it easier to show on screen. But here we are, blog, en, mobile, contacts. All of these is what we've found. So this is how I would do directory busting with, um, with Black Lantern's tool, uh, Bbot. And it was really easy and it only took minutes. Now, with some of the larger websites, and depending on what, what other modules you throw in there for Bbot to use, this can go on forever for ages. It can be an it can be a weekend scan if you use um, all the right proper modules. And once again, they all interact with each other and they all feed off each other. They continue to spider out um, as long as you let it spider out. But just a real quick, you know, five minute demonstration. We've got a good amount of these directory busting um, directory names. All right, and I told you that you can make you can have Bbot be configured to a word list of your choosing. That is relatively easy. And the way that we would go about doing that is here inside of Bbot, we would do a, once again, Bbot with our target, which is in drive with the modules, uh, HTTPX and fluff. We're gonna allow deadly. Then over here, we would do attack C and then we would have our module word list and then we would equal it out to wherever we wanted to have that module list um, be located at. Uh, downloads um, my list.txt. And then it would use your list instead. So we have successfully and relatively easy gone through and found all of the, all of the directories that this domain has. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. Oh, is the demo done? Mm. Sorry. Wifey just like could put some cheese on a plate and then throw it in the microwave and I could eat this forever. Oh god. Anyway, hey, so thanks for joining me on this demo for Black Clarence. Wow, that's very professional. <clears throat> Thank you for joining me on this demo for Black Lantern Security's B-Bot. I hope you all learned something. And um, you know what? Usually I say, you know, keep reversing or, you know, let me know what you did last week in the comments below. But honestly, this cheese is amazing. So I'm going to keep eating the cheese. But in the comments below, I want you to tell me what cool little food concoction do you, do you usually go to? What is your comfort food? What is that one thing you put in the microwave for like 15 seconds and then pull it out and eat on it. Let me know in the comments below. So thank you all for joining me and we'll see you next time.